Hi, this is Scott Trudeau. Today we're going to learn how to combine multiple files into a single PDF. So you can see I'm going to use Acrobat 11 and I am on a Mac machine. When you first open up Acrobat, you're going to be greeted with this welcome screen. And in order to combine files into a single PDF, I can do two things. I can choose combine files into a PDF straight from the welcome screen, or I can choose file, create, and combine files into a single PDF from the file create menu. I'm going to choose to combine files into a single PDF from my welcome screen. It opens up the combine files dialog box. Now I got to tell you in older versions of Acrobat if you're doing this on a Mac it would not convert the files to PDF. So I'd first have to open up the Word document in my word processing program, save it to PDF, then combine it. Same thing with Excel or PowerPoint files. If you're on a PC, it converted those files for you. What's so great about Acrobat 11 is Mac and PC are treated the same. It'll now convert those files to PDF and combine them for me. So let's go ahead and add our files. I'm going to choose Add Files. It's going to open up. I'm going to add the files that I wish to combine into my single PDF. And I think for this one, I'll go ahead and choose this PDF. I'm just command clicking or control clicking on the files that I wish to add. Or you can select them all if you want to. But I'm going to add uh, this marine biology PDF, this marine biology Word document, and maybe these two other PDFs. Also take this PowerPoint as well. I'm going to choose to add the files. It adds the files to the combined files dialog box. And in just a minute, it's generating previews for each one of those files as well. So in Acrobat, in previous versions of Acrobat, these these previews were not available for you. This is a new look and a new way to combine those files. You can see in the background that it's having to open up Acrobat and open up uh, Word in order to do this. So what I really like about this is this is very much like spreading your files out on a desktop and going around, going along the desktop and stacking up your handout and then stapling it together. I've decided with this handout, um, I don't necessarily need the entire PowerPoint. I only need a couple different slides from the PowerPoint. So I'm going to select one of the slides and I'm going to shift click uh, the row of slides. I only need the first slide. So I uh, clicked and shift clicked the end one to get the range of slides. I'm going to right click on any one of those and remove those pages from my uh, PDF package there. So you can see it open, had to open up PowerPoint in order to combine the files. Um, I'm also going to jump into this page here, and I only need the front page of that as well. So I'm going to select the pages that I wish to remove. I'll go ahead and right click on those and remove those pages also. So now I have a, a PowerPoint document, a PDF, a Word document. I really want this Word document to be the first document in my combined file stack. So I'm going to just drag this over. And you can see that blue vertical line appears. Place it where you want it, and we're done. If you find something that you don't want to include, say, for example, this PDF right here, you know, in hindsight, maybe I don't really want that. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm just going to remove the document from the stack or from the files that I'm combining together. And this could be picture files, this could be ping images, JPEGs, GIFs, Photoshop files, whatever. We're going to combine these all together. So from this point, I'm just going to choose to combine the files. And it starts converting those Word documents to PDF, converting the PowerPoints to PDF, and any of the other documents it converts as well. Now it is opening up the default applications in order to do that. You can see we're done. So in Acrobat 11, the combined files dialog or combined files process becomes much more efficient as well. You're going to find that it doesn't take nearly as long to complete. So here you can see my document. I'm just going to click on the pages uh, thumbnail there and scroll down the pages so you can see yes indeed it did combine all the files into a single PDF. So that's all you have to do to have multiple documents and convert them into one handout so to speak is use that combined files dialog box. So again, this is Scott Trudeau, scotttrudeau.com for other tutorials. Uh, hope this was helpful.